Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this one, I'm going to show you why Sang-Chi doesn't need to have immunity to be able to do biohazard paths and culture paths. So first here we have biohazard and it's in Act 6, so it's pretty tough. So at Kruchik we have a 20% chance to get inflicted with a bleed and 50% chance if we hit them with a block to get inflicted with a poison. And here we're building up cleanse charges and we're doing medium blank medium. And here we use the SP1, so that doubles our cleanse charges. So we had 8 there, which means we have 8 bleeds to purify before they ran out. They ran out. So, we have 4 here. We're gonna save up our heavy attack, because you know every time we use a heavy attack, we refresh those cleanse charges, so we lose them. But first, I'm gonna bait this guy special and wait the encroaching stun, because this guy has a node called inevitability sorry about the lag there it's gonna get fixed in like five seconds basically we're doing a medium lightning combo just because we'll do but this inevitability node will reduce their combat power rate by 40 percent but their special attacks inflicts us with a stun for two seconds so right when they tap that button right when they start doing the animation we get stunned but of course if you have cleanse charges you can just purify it in just a split second. So this guy is almost dead with just one special one and a special two. With a five star Sang Chi. And we have class advantage as well. And this SP2 will just finish him. And we have like a, like five more fights that we do. Like this path has eight, eight fights. And we actually die in a domino fight because it actually Domino actually messes up the cleanse charges, so sometimes you're not purifying the bleeds. And you know how annoying Domino is, especially if you're using a skilled champion, you are always unlucky. But let's see this excellent rift fight. So the Omega Red fight it was a little bit tough. And if you use someone else that doesn't have cleanse charges, it can be really annoying because you know you can't be as aggressive as in like the extra rift fight in Omega Red because of the the charges that he applies to you that if you get 10 you get degen spores and here i'm saving the heavy attack see we had a stun we could do that but let's just wait baiting this special one and encroaching stun so now we can do this again and medium light medium even if you get inflicted with like a bleed within those three hits there you're only gonna get ticked once so that's fine and then we're doing the stun again we're gonna bait this special one we got a cleanse we don't worry about getting stunned and the encroaching stun as well so see both gone then we're free to go for the heavy attack we can just parry or not parry so see we got two two bleeds there within two hits but i don't think we lost like even one percent health because it's, it's that quick it's that instant so we just pop a sprinkle three this does a lot of damage and then now we're just gonna race to the sprinkle two or maybe we don't even need it but you can see we're doing our our challenges here because we are getting pretty lucky with the bleeds but even if we didn't we have the cleanse charges so there i messed up a bit because or actually didn't mess up i actually wanted to throw the special one quickly because i didn't have any cleanse charge so see how i messed up i threw that heavy attack and then i lost my cleanse charges and i had to throw that special one into the block otherwise i would get stunned and the cleansing strike is not like a mission that you can complete in the block kind of like blockable and stun you have to complete the combo so this rogue fight you would think it's tough on the rogue fight to land him attacks but luckily we can parry her light attacks and we can do him attacks after her special one so we got the class charges it's better to do to do them first. So you see how I dashed back there? I wanted to parry his special or her light attack. So that worked. Got one bleed. Didn't lose any health though. Now we can bait this special one without even getting worried for the stun. There goes encroaching stun. Now we can do another challenge and then I'm probably gonna go for another heavy. So we got one. So like when I got one, I tried to do the heavy attack. Because there is a chance, like here, there is a chance that you get inflicted with a bleed when you do the heavy attack. So if you have one cleansing strike, you're gonna purify it. But if you don't have and risk it, you might get a little bit of a bleed there. So yeah, just when you have one, try to do the heavy attack there. So we get the cleansing strike, we can do the special three. And keep in mind, the special three still can get inflicted 
with a bleed here. So 46%, if we go for a special 2, she's gonna die pretty soon. We didn't get any bleeds. Even if we hit on the block, there's a higher chance we can get it with the poison, but we're gonna instantly purify it. Now we're gonna wait for the encroaching stun. I didn't wanna hit her more. So that I have another charge. Now it's kinda tough because we need to dash back and hopefully parry a light attack because medium attacks are kinda tough because of the spacing. But yeah, now it's pretty tough, man. It's pretty tough because of the crunching stun. But luckily, we did that. So we just just about got the classic side that we saw because the encroaching stun. But yeah, now we're just gonna go for a five hit combo and into the special two. And that just destroys her. We haven't used any items here and we have 80% health. Now I know we have the Nick Fury synergy with that Black Force. We're getting like 5% health at the start. But who cares? We can still do that. Right? It's only like 5% health. It kind of helps. But yeah, we healed up a little bit. Sanctuary would heal like 15% health. Because I didn't know this Iceman, like this Cold Snap damage, I knew we could purify it. But if he's like passive, I didn't know how much, how strong that was, that Cold Snap. So just healed him up a bit. Didn't even need it, but that's fine. So here we're waiting out the encroaching stun. And then we want to parry twice. Free parry, so we get the classic strike here. I want to be a little bit a little bit defensive so that we can get a parry because if you pop this with one we would get stunned there because we didn't have any cleanse so yeah i think we're gonna go for a special three here again we got two charges here we're gonna wait out the encroaching stun and then go for ari boom and then we're gonna do another cleansing strike it just real three but yeah man isn't this path i feel like this is like the hardest biohazard path we haven't seen that inevitability note again and I think there's a reason, because it's, it's pretty tough, right? Like, you're gonna need someone with power control. And I don't know if there's champions with power control that are in YouTube biohazard, like Lady Poison. Like, I think there's Ultron. But Ultron, he has to, get for has to go for a special 3 to get the power gen. Now, I don't know if there's someone there might be, there probably is. But I feel like Sang Chi, even with the class advantage here, because it's all mutants, he does a great job, man. He does a phenomenal job do the special too we got three cleanse charges even if we get inflicted with bleed because of the hints in the special too we'll be fine and yeah up to colossus so i'm gonna let you guys enjoy the rest of the video i think we got a colossus fight and then it's old man logan and then domino because we die in domino and that's where the path ends but we're gonna have a Caltrops gameplay as well after a Domino fight. So yeah man, sang -Chi, who needs immunities, right? That cleanse is so strong. Like we start a fight with suicides. Suicides are gone and then don't care about biohazard. Just like that and biohazard is really annoying. Like I don't know if there's any champion that can do biohazard without immune to bleed. Like there is a Mega Red who has resistance. But this guy doesn't have any resistance, it just cleanses everything. And you can use that trick with the SP1, especially if you're not using suicides, to double your cleanse charges. But keep in mind, if you want to get them to 8, you want to use the cleanse extract first, so you get 4. Because if you do, do it like, if you do like a slow first and then cleanse extract, you're going to get 3, which means you're going to double them to 6. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.